Hey, so I just kind of thought I'd show everybody um, just a quick peek into how I do some of my nails. I'm doing my sister's Valentine's Day nails. And right now what I'm doing is just going to make some 3D hearts on the top for... Oh, sorry to... We're just kind of filming this on the fly, so it ain't going to be the best. But basically... Just, I want to make almost like that candy, that conversation heart candy look. And they never come out perfect, but a lot of times you got to work real quickly. And basically I just take my brush and make a V at the bottom like that. And then a lot of times you can just take your brush from the top push it on down so that you can make that heart and then I try to squish it out make them a little chunkier because the candy is you know nice and round or uh, kind of bubbly shaped kind of like that this is not exactly how I want it to look I'll probably make her thumb look a little bit different and actually probably do some white <coughs> I tell Tiffany all the time how lucky she is because you know growing up there were seven of us kids, and there was not a lot of money. I didn't. I still remember the first time I got my nails done. My grandma took me to get my nails done, and it was awesome. Like, I just, I was fascinated. I loved everything about it, and from that moment, I just remember me and my sister Nicolette, we just, we were fascinated by nails, and my grandma, she always let us, uh, she had so much nail stuff. And, uh, yeah, we, I don't know. I was just always dabbling in nail art. But I was, I've always been a tomboy, so it's really weird for that, you know, to do nails. Even now, like, some of my friends from high school, I think they see me and they're like, what, you? Nails? Really? Yeah, it's me. But I learned everything I know. Like, I'm licensed, you know, and I did nails for a while. I'm semi-retired right now. I just decided to take a break from it. I just had some bad experiences with salons in town. So if I ever do them professionally again, it'll be, you know, under my own terms. Um, but I still love to do them, you know, and it's always good to have something going in your back pocket. I tell my sisters that all the time, which... Tiffany here is going to be going away to college soon. Luckily, it's what, Tiffany, maybe an hour away where you're going to school. <clears throat> and my other sister's in college, so she, I think they're actually going to be able to room together, which is pretty cool. And I guess instead of chit-chatting, I should be telling y'all what I'm doing, but <laughs> I learned everything off YouTube. I love YouTube. It's pretty much free education. Like I said, I'm just kind of working with it quickly making a V at the bottom like this and then quickly taking my brush. Tiffany, what are you doing? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm trying to form it. And that's okay, like how this one, to me, it's not looking right. That's okay because you can always kind of go back and add a little bit to make it nice and full. See, this one, to me, it doesn't look right. So what I'll do is I'll take another... Oop, maybe that one's too big. I'll take another little, yeah, that one may be too big. I'll take a little pearl, add it on top, and then continue with how I want it to look. Now, after you do 3D art for a while, you'll kind of get a feel for how you want yours to look. I see some people do some really gorgeous, like, 3D nail art that just will make your eyes pop out your head. But I'm not that good. But there's a lot to be learned. It's an industry that's always growing. Techniques always changing. You know, it, it is very competitive and hard to, to stay on top of techniques and stuff like that. Um, okay, so now what I'll do when we come back is I'll show y'all the finished product. I don't want to make too long of a video. Maybe in the... You need to. 
Sorry, we had to cut that short. Our Asian mom was calling. So now, I'm just going to paint on little, little sayings. I don't even know what's on. Tiffany, what's something else? Would That would be on a conversation heart. Small enough for you to put on here? Like, don't they have emoticons on them now? Like, smiley face? Yes. No? I don't know. Um... What am I going to put? What's on some conversation hearts? Hug me. Hug me. Oh, I don't know if that's going to fit. These are tiny. <laughs> Should use my other brush. This looks like Bobo. Okay, that didn't come out so well. I need some sayings that are on conversation hearts. <laughs> Hmm? Um, yeah, I don't know. Hmm. What would be on? I'm trying to remember from a kid, like, what's on them. Uh, like, you are cute. That was one. Is that really going to fit on there? Uh, nope. It's going to be a tough one. What QT? Oh yeah. Hold on. See, sometimes when we're creating on the fly, this is what happens. But I'm painting with just acrylic. What? I'm painting with just acrylic paint, so I don't even know what I'm painting anymore. not working out so well I probably should have googled this <laughs> but we just decided well she didn't I decided to do nails on the fly so this is really my fault and I was sitting here bored and was like you know I get asked all the time by people who are interested in nails so I was like we'll film it whatevs we'll do it switch hands somehow Sorry. Can you see it? Yeah. Okay. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'll come back after we're done painting and I'll show you the finish look. Okay, so just going to show you guys the finished look. There it is. Little conversation hearts. And then what we did is, I don't know if you can see it, we added little... Um, little heart locks and little heart keys and then put your thumbs together let's and then I added real Saworski crystals with her um, you know 3d little hearts and acrylic glitter and put your hands back so that I can see and there it is very very festive and cute and sorry my camera is having a hard time focusing and then just did a little swirl swirl with some hearts on those nails like this one as well so fun and cute. She loves it. I love it. I'll post a picture at the end. Thanks, guys. Bye.